Welcome to CPCS, CSCS, 2020, 2021, Questions and Answers. The latest questions and answers for CITB Health and Safety Test. Question 1. Where on the body would a worker wear respiratory protective equipment, RPE? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is B. Question 2. Which of the following is most likely to cause air pollution? Give one answer. A. Excessive noise. B. Fuel spillage. C. Surface runoff. D. Using diesel engines. The correct answer is D. Question 3. Which animal is the most likely carrier of Wiles disease, leptospirosis, on construction sites? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is B. Question 4. When might people suffering with mental health issues need help at work? Give one answer. A. As and when a situation arises in which help is needed. B. They will regularly need help to avoid them having a panic attack. C. Up to once a week to take some of the strain off them. D. When their site supervisor or manager says so. The correct answer is A. Question 5. Which part of the body is most likely to be injured when lifting heavy loads? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is A. Question 6. What is the main danger when using a chisel or bolster with a mushroomed head? Give one answer. A. It will shatter and send fragments flying into the air. B. The hammer could slip off the head of the bolster or chisel. C. The shaft of the chisel will bend, putting a strain on your wrist. D. You are more likely to hit your hand with the chisel head. The correct answer is A. Question 7. When is a site vehicle most likely to injure pedestrians? Give one answer. A. As it is lifting materials onto scaffolds. B. When it is reversing. C. While digging out footings. D. While tipping into an excavation. The correct answer is B. Question 8. Under what circumstance should a driver stop their vehicle immediately? Give one answer. A. If the flashing beacon has stopped working. B. If the vehicle is low on fuel. C. If they are operating in a one-way system. D. If they lose sight of their vehicle marshal. The correct answer is D. Question 9. What is the most important information a vehicle marshaler should know before directing a vehicle? Give one answer. A. How to signal vehicles and any relevant safety procedures. B. The name and address of the driver for security reasons. C. The type of materials being delivered to the site. D. The value of the materials as they could be stolen. The correct answer is A. Question 10. Why is it the employer's legal responsibility to discuss matters of health and safety with employees? 
Give one answer. A. So that employees are informed of things that will protect their health and safety. B. So that employees do not have any responsibilities for health and safety. C. So that employees will never have to attend any other health and safety training. D. So that your employer will not have any legal responsibility for employees' health and safety. The correct answer is A. Question 11. A worker finds a way of working that is quicker than the method statement they have been given. What should they do? Give one answer. A. Continue to follow the safe system of work for the task. B. Get more work done so they can earn more money. C. Get their work done more quickly so they can leave early. D. Inform work colleagues so they can work this way. The correct answer is A. Question 12. While working on site you cut one of your fingers. What should you do? Give one answer. A. Clean it and tell your supervisor about it later. B. Report it and get first aid if necessary. C. Report it at the end of the day or the end of the shift. D. Wash it, and if it is not a problem carry on working. The correct answer is B. Question 13. Which two of the following are the main reasons for reporting accidents, incidents, and near misses? Give two answers. A. Certain incidents or accidents have to be reported to the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. B. To find out whom claims should be made against. C. To help the company avoid being prosecuted or fined. D. To make sure none of the supervisors find out about the accident. E. To understand how and why things went wrong. The correct answer is A and E. Question 14. What should be done in the event of an emergency on site? Give one answer. A. Collect your personal items and leave the site. B. Follow the site emergency procedure. C. Leave the site by the nearest exit and return home. D. Phone the Health and Safety Executive, HSE, for advice. The correct answer is B. Question 15. How should you be informed about what to do in an emergency? Give two answers. A. By asking the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. B. By looking in the Health and Safety file. C. By asking at the local hospital. D. By attending the site induction. E. By reading the site notice boards. The correct answer is D and E. Question 16. What two things should you do if there is an emergency situation on site? Give two answers. A. Collect personal items from the site office. B. Finish what you are doing. C. Go to the designated assembly point. D. Leave the area via the nearest exit. E. Look for other people who may not know what to do. The correct answer is C. And D. Question 17. You witness a serious accident on site. What immediate action should you take? Give two answers. Give two answers. A. Call out to other workers so they can call for help. 
b. Check if it is safe to approach the injured person. c. Lift the injured person and take them to the site office. d. Record the date and time in the incident book. e. Sit the injured person up and give them food and water. The correct answer is A and B. Question 18. What should not be in a first aid kit? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 19. If the first aid kit on site is empty, what should you do? Give one answer. A. Bring your own first aid supplies into work. B. Find out who is taking all the first aid supplies. C. Ignore the problem as it is always the same. D. Inform the person who looks after the first aid kit. The correct answer is D. Question 20. Someone is knocked unconscious and you are not trained in first aid. What should you do first? Give one answer. A. Give them mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. B. Send for medical help. C. Slap their face to wake them up. D. Turn them over so that they are lying on their back. The correct answer is B. Question 21. If there is an emergency while you are on site, what should you do first? Give one answer. A. Follow the site emergency procedure. B. Leave the site and go home. C. Phone home and then leave the site. D. Phone the Health and Safety Executive, HSE. The correct answer is A. Question 22. Which of the following would help to protect the environment? Give one answer. A. Arriving on time for work every day. B. Keeping accurate time sheets. C. Keeping to the health and safety rules. D. Saving water and energy wherever possible. The correct answer is D. Question 23. After asbestos, which of the following causes the most ill health to construction workers? Give one answer. A. Diesel fumes. B. Resin, solvent and paint vapors. C. Silica dust. D. Wood and MDF dust. The correct answer is C. Question 24. What is the most serious risk to this worker? Wearing only these items of personal protective equipment, PPE. Give one answer. A. Back injury, from poor posture. B. Breathing in harmful dust. C. Goggles misting up, limiting vision. D. Not being able to hear colleagues. The correct answer is B. Question 25. Pigeon droppings and nests are found in an area where you are required to work. What should you do? Give one answer. A. Carry on with your work carefully, so you don't disturb them. B. Stop work, do not touch anything, and seek advice. C. Try to catch the pigeons so you can move them out of the way. D. Wait for the pigeons to fly away before carrying on with your work.
The correct answer is B. Question 26. Engine-driven equipment is being used in a deep excavation. Which of the following should be in place? Give one answer. A. A vehicle marshal. B. Additional excavation covers. C. Additional stop blocks. D. Gas monitoring alarms. The correct answer is D. Question 27. Which kind of personal protective equipment, PPE, equipment can protect your lungs from harmful vapors? Give one answer. A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 28. A construction worker has been exposed to concrete dust for a long period of time. What are they most likely to suffer from? Give one answer. A. Blurred vision. B. Headache or migraine. C. Hearing problems. D. Shortness of breath. The correct answer is D. Question 29. What potential disease is this worker unprotected from? Give one answer. A. Dermatitis. B. Nasal cancer. C. Skin cancer. D. Tetanus. The correct answer is B. Question 30. A particle filter is suitable for use in which one of the following situations? Give one answer. A. An oxygen deficient atmosphere. B. Presence of gases. C. Presence of vapors. D. When dust and fibers are in the air. The correct answer is D. Question 31. When working with materials creating dust, what should be monitored? Give one answer. A. The color of dust created. B. The direction in which the dust travels. C. The level of exposure to the dust. D. The smell the dust creates. The correct answer is C. Question 32. If you hear a ringing sound in your ears after working with noisy equipment, what does this mean? Give one answer. A. The noise level was high but acceptable. B. You have also been subjected to vibration. C. Your hearing has been temporarily damaged. D. Your hearing protection was working properly. The correct answer is C. Question 33. Using a grinder whilst wearing this personal protective equipment, PPE, could result in which of the following? Give one answer. A. Eye injuries. B. Hearing damage. C. Lung disease. D. Wiles disease. The correct answer is B. Question 34. What should you do if there is nowhere on site to wash your hands? Give one answer. A. Go to the local public toilets and use their wash basin. B. Nothing as the site does not have to provide washing facilities. C. Speak to your supervisor or the site manager about the problem. D. Wait until you get home, then wash them. The correct answer is C. Question 35. 
Being satisfied with your job can lead to what? Give one answer. A. Feeling less happy at work. B. Feeling less stressed at work. C. Feeling more stressed at work. D. Feeling unpopular at work. The correct answer is B. Question 36. Rest areas on site should be equipped with which of the following? Give one answer. A. Seating and radio. B. Seating and tables. C. Sets and chairs. D. Televisions and tables. The correct answer is B. Question 37. What would be a good way of reducing fatigue in the workforce? Give one answer. A. Early start times and a late finish. B. Random start and finish times. C. Regular start and finish times. D. Rotating shift patterns. The correct answer is C. Question 38. If a worker is feeling stressed, when is the best time for them to address the issue? Give one answer. A. As soon as they realize they have symptoms of stress. B. In about six months, if the issue is still causing them stress. C. Only after the stress level gets so bad it causes an accident. D. When they have finished work and they are away from the workplace. The correct answer is A. Question 39. Your new job involves some manual handling but an old injury means that you have a week back. What should you do? Give one answer. A. Tell your supervisor about your back if it gets injured again. B. Tell your supervisor that lifting might be a problem. C. Tell your supervisor you can lift anything on site. D. Try some lifting then tell your supervisor about your back. The correct answer is B. Question 40. If you need to reach above your head to place a load or lower a load to the floor, which of these is not true? Give one answer. A. It will be more difficult to keep your back straight. B. The load will be more difficult to control. C. You can safely handle more weight than usual. D. You will put extra stress on your arms and your back. The correct answer is C. Question 41. If someone near you is using a petrol cut-off saw, disc cutter, to cut concrete blocks, what three immediate hazards are likely to affect you? Give three answers. A. Contact dermatitis. B. Flying fragments. C. Harmful dust in the air. D. High noise levels. E. Vibration white finger. The correct answer is B, C, and D. Question 42. How should a container, or any residue, be disposed of if it has the sign on the label or packaging? Give one answer. A. Follow specific instructions on the label and in the work instructions. B. If it is a liquid and less than one liter you can pour it down a drain. C. Leave it somewhere for other people to deal with. D. Put it in any type of skip or bin. The correct answer is A. Question 43. 
you see a driver refueling an excavator but most of the diesel is spilling onto the ground. What is the first thing that you should do? Give one answer. A. Do nothing. The diesel will eventually seep into the ground. B. Look around for a spill kit and then tell your supervisor. C. Tell the driver immediately and locate the spill kit. D. Tell your supervisor the next time that you see them. The correct answer is C. Question 44. What should be done before adjusting an electric hand tool? Give one answer. A. Put tape over the power switch before adjusting. B. Switch it off and remove the plug from the socket. C. Switch it off but leave the plug in the socket. D. You should never adjust an electric hand tool yourself. The correct answer is B. Question 46. Why are battery-powered tools preferred over 110-volt tools in a construction environment? Give one answer. A. They are cheaper to run. B. They are more powerful. C. They are quieter. D. They are safer. The correct answer is D. Question 45. When is it safe to work close to an overhead power line? Give one answer. A. If it is not raining whilst you are working. B. If the power is switched off. C. If you do not touch the line for more than 30 seconds. D. If you use a wooden ladder for access. The correct answer is B. Question 47. Why do building sites use a 110-volt electricity supply instead of a 230-volt supply? Give one answer. A. It is cheaper. B. It is less likely to kill you. C. It is safer for the environment. D. It moves faster along the cables. The correct answer is B. Question 48. Do simple hand tools like trowels, screwdrivers, saws and hammers need to be inspected? Give one answer. A. No, it is not necessary to check such tools. B. Only if someone else has borrowed the tools. C. Only if the tools have not been used for a few weeks. D. Yes, the tools should be checked each time they are used. The correct answer is D. Question 49. Which of the following is a recognized control measure when reversing a vehicle? Give one answer. A. Standing on the back to direct it. B. Turning on all the vehicle lights. C. Turning the side radio off. D. Using a vehicle marshal. The correct answer is D. Question 50. What is the correct way to climb a ladder? Give one answer. A. By having two people on the ladder at all times. B. Having three points of contact with the ladder at all times. C. Having two points of contact with the ladder at all times. D. Only using the ladder when wearing a safety harness. The correct answer is B. Thank you for watching and good luck for your test.